It is 644 on daybreak and this week a local hero will be minted literally. Ely Parker, a Tonawanda Seneca, was one of the most influential people in Western New York history. And tomorrow morning, the U.S. Mint will release a brand new dollar coin bearing his image. Parker was one of 17 finalists for the latest edition of the Mint's Native American series. And as Daybreak's Pete Gallivan tells us in this unknown story, Parker was a man of many talents. Keely Parker, U.S. Army officer, tribal diplomat, Seneca leader. He's not well known, you know, on a national level, but at the same time, he stands on the national level for his accomplishments. Al Parker has always been extremely proud of his ancestors' contributions to both worlds, that of the Native American and that of the white man. The knowledge is, is beginning to show uh, statues, uh, pictures, and his story. Ely Parker was born and raised to Tonawanda Seneca. Highly educated and fluent in both Seneca and English, he went on to college and studied engineering and law. But for Parker, it was a life of contradiction. He studies as a lawyer, but he can't pass, he can't take the bar because he's held back by his indigenous heritage. Um, he can't serve in the army until he's appointed by General Grant. Anthony Greco of the Buffalo History Museum agrees that Parker was one of the most influential figures in both Seneca and Western New York history. So on one hand, he's an indigenous person. He's Tonawanda Seneca. Uh, he ends up being the uh, Grand Sachem of the Haudenosaunee Confederacy. But on the other hand, He's, um, you know, classically educated. He, he studies as a lawyer and engineer, and he ultimately ends up, um, and this is probably the part of uh, his life that creates his legacy, is his services to the U.S. Army under General Grant. Parker met Grant before the Civil War while working as an engineer in Illinois, and it was that relationship that actually paved Parker's way into the military after he was originally rejected because he was Native American. Grant ultimately appointed him military secretary, and Parker played such an important role, he was not only present at General Lee's surrender, he even helped draft the surrender documents. The Lee's surrender at Appomattox Courthouse is actually penned in his handwriting. After the Civil War, Parker was named the first Native American commissioner of the Bureau of Indian Affairs. He was the chief architect of General Grant's peace policy with Native tribes and went on to work for the New York City Police Department. He even hit it big in the stock market, only to lose it all and die in poverty. His final resting place, Forest Lawn Cemetery, beside his ancestor, the great Seneca leader, Red Jacket. Ely Parker was a man who lived many lives, all of them to the benefit of others. And now his legacy is finally being honored by the U.S. Mint, a new dollar coin featuring Sacagawea on the front and the reverse side, Parker in his army uniform with a quill pen and a book along with his graceful signature, symbols of his experience as an expert communicator. The inscriptions Tanawanda Seneca and Hasanawanda recognize his home territory and his Seneca name. It's definitely long overdue, and this is somebody who's, you know, he's buried a quarter mile from where we're standing right now, yet so few people um, even here know who he is, know his story. I'm pleased that he has reached a level of notoriety, notoriety that is overdue. To coin a term, Ely Parker was a warrior, a role model, and a very proud chapter in the unknown stories of Western New York.